today's video, we're going to be looking at average salaries by education level. We're going to break down every different education level you could have in the United States as of 2024, and we're going to look at the average salary of somebody holding that level of education. And this is all data from the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And this will be a great way for one, you to understand where you fall, whether you're above or below average. That can also help you make decisions about what you're doing on a day to day. It will also give you a ballpark of if you choose to go back to school and you want to increase your education level, what you can expect on average to earn. And it will give you a good ballpark of, you know, the people around you. Because although comparison is not a good thing, it's also really healthy just to understand that if you're walking into a room and you're talking to somebody that has, let's say, a PhD, they might be earning slightly different than what you were expecting. And this is a great way to understand their levels of their earning. Now, is that really important in life? Absolutely not. But for the few people that enjoy watching videos like this who might be financial mutants or really into personal finance or finance, it is something that's interesting to know. Let's get straight into it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of cool stuff on this channel when it comes to personal finance, entrepreneurship, starting businesses, everything you would everything you need to know to not be average and to be above average. Let's get into it. We're also gonna look at the unemployment rate by each of these brackets as well, because I find that to be interesting. Okay, so number one on our list is going to be people that have less than a high school diploma, meaning you do not have a high school diploma. The average income is $35,464, and the unemployment rate is 5.5%. That's, that's both the lowest income and the highest unemployment. So what should you do? Make sure you graduate high school. Next on our list is a high school diploma only. The average income is $44,356 with somebody that just has a high school diploma. And the unemployment rate is 4%. The next bracket is somebody that has some college experience, but doesn't actually have a degree, meaning you attended some college, but did not finish and did not achieve a degree. The average income of that bracket is $48,620. And the unemployment rate is 3.5%. Next on our list is somebody that has an associate's degree, typically known as a two-year degree. The average income is $52,260. And the unemployment rate is 2.7%. We've already seen a massive drop in the unemployment rate as education furthers and quite a large increase in how much you're earning, especially when you consider you can get an associate's degree and obviously a high school diploma, but you can get an associate's degree from a community college for not that much money. You definitely are gonna see return on your investment there. Next, we have a bachelor's degree where we see our first large hike in income. The average income is $74,464 and the unemployment rate is 2.2%. Next on our list is people with a master's degree. This is truly graduate school, higher education. We're really going for it. The average income is $86,372. And the unemployment rate is 1.9%. It's really low. Next is what's called a professional degree. Now I'm gonna leave this one a little bit ambiguous because a professional degree means something very different in every single industry. It's almost adjacent to getting a master's degree but it's something that gives you a professional licensure, certification, ability to perform a certain act in a regulated industry. It's very, very, very industry specific, but it's not a master's and it's not a doctorate or PhD. It's something in the middle. And the average income for somebody with a professional degree is $108,160. And the unemployment rate is 1.4%. Now last, we have a doctorate degree or doctoral degree or however you want to label it. BLS says doctoral, I call it doctorate. It's to each their own. The average income is $108,316 and the unemployment rate is only 1%, meaning only 1% of people with doctorate degrees are actually unemployed. That's gonna be your best chances of making it long-term. Now, these are the average incomes and unemployment rates by degree. Hopefully this information allows you to make some decisions on your life, or if you're reflecting, to figure out where you land relative to this. You can do things like change your location, change your field, do all those things with your degree to adjust where you fall in that average. So if you feel like you're below average, you gotta relook at some things and see how you can reapply your degree or what you're doing or where you're doing it, and that's how you up your income. I'll see you guys in the next video.